this place uh, that we live in, this realm, world, whatever you want to call it, has been repurposed to be an energy farm. It was once a school, and now it's an energy farm. Uh, and everything goes toward getting your energy from you. But how do you, how do they get your energy from you? Like, how is this? What what is the transference process? I mean, that's always something I'm trying to figure out or look at. Like, how you get it from you know this person creating all of energy. And then somehow there's a, a blank space, and then they get the energy. Well, I know that, uh, and, and well, I don't know for sure, but it's been pointed out by a lot of people recently that, and I didn't really think about it too much, but the internet and uh, being online uh, is an energy drainer. And that's uh, a good reason to have you attached to your devices all the time when you get emotional or something about something or or uh, invested in something there's a transference from you possibly through the device to the ether that they can grab it from and to that end a lot of stuff online is is weaponized in such a way I play a game uh, well, I'm always playing some kind of mobile game I, I go through them and I'll get sick of one and move to another. But there's one I'm playing right now called Diablo Immortal. And when you're loading up the game, two numbers come up on the screen. Uh, and what it's supposed to signify is we're loading up the game, we're loading up all the files, and you'll see this. And sometimes I'll have numbers like 62% of whatever. Two separate numbers come up every time 33.3 .3 and 66.6. .6. Those are the only two numbers that come up. Every time you load this game, it's exactly what comes up. Uh, and that's not a coincidence. That, because I, what I believe is that is part of the spell of the game. Um, Gematria is something I don't know a whole lot about. There are a lot of people on YouTube that do. But I think the significance of numbers uh, in a lot of these things, like the dates surrounding events, uh, the amount of whatever people injured in like a, a crash or a, someone who shot a certain number of times they need certain numbers the way a witch needs like an ear of newt or bat wings to put into a a spell or a potion these are simply these numbers are parts of the spell so when i'm loading up this game this game's preparing to take my energy and it does you know because i play this and i know what's happening but I, I, I'm, you know, what am I going to do? Stop playing Diablo? No. So, uh, they're preparing the spell. And once I'm in the spell, and once I'm in the game, I'm, there's a lot of emotion that goes on there. Oh, I got to get this fucking thing. Oh, why won't this fucking thing happen? And usually it's negative. And that's how it is for me with video games. It's usually like I'm just raging about something. And then I'll just go to the store. And throw money at a problem if I have a problem. Like, I can't get past this thing. I'll just buy, I'll buy this treasure chest. And I, go, you know, I swipe the credit card. This is an energy exchange. My, they're, they're sucking my energy here. And when they're, uh, when they're giving those numbers, when they're loading the game, that's just they're, they're preparing the spell for the spell I'm going to be in to create the parameters for them to then take my energy. Um, money and the whole reason for an economy is for us to put our charge on fiat currency the paper's worthless the coins are worthless to them they can make these things all day it only has value uh, with our labor and you hear just regular economists saying that the labor is the money but it's, it's a step further than that what we do is when we work for something, we put our energy toward that money, we are charging that currency. So then when the currency comes back to them through their system, it has the energy that they can then take. So the more money they put out, uh, they can put the money out all day. For and, and with that lens, okay, you see why money goes to certain things and it doesn't go to other things. They need 
us to earn it or to get it in some way, uh, it doesn't matter how, as long as we put energy or work into getting it. Even robbing a bank, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into that. That money is then charged with the energy it took to acquire it. So when that money comes back to them, they get the energy from it. So now it's valuable. We make it valuable. We make, we make their paper valuable. Uh, by, so this is, in my opinion, oh, the, the, uh, the pedal drop-off place. This is, in my opinion, the reason for the economy, uh, the reason for people having to work. It's not just, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of other things they got out of it, but this is, I think, this is the main reason, is to charge this money. Because they don't need money. They make money. They make money out of nothing, out of thin air. It's just numbers. When you walk in to get a loan from a bank, they don't call up like a, a warehouse and say, hey, do we have, do we have $10,000 in, in, in the back room? They just make it up on a computer. Didn't exist before. And now not only do you uh, owe them that, and that's charged now, you, you have to pay extra on top of it just for, for them doing that for you. That's why they'd much rather claim uh, assets, you know, than get money back on things. Because getting money back on things, it hasn't gone through you yet. Like say you owe, I don't know, 100000 on a property, right? You owe the bank money. Just taking it from your account doesn't do them any good because the money's not charged yet. You, it hasn't been through your hands. It's not, it, you haven't charged it. So they'd rather take your house because you worked for that. You put energy into maybe even building that house. There's extra kind of uh, ancillary energies they get from it. So they'd rather take your property because now they have their property you put energy into getting. Then they can sell it to another person who worked and charged that currency to buy that house. It's all about sucking up the current, the energy. Now you see a lot of homeless here. Uh, they don't, they do not uh, participate in this. They're not charging a lot of currency. But what they do do is they, they're a home for a lot of their uh, minions, a lot of their uh, demons. You know, they can they sail around them because their vibrational frequency is so low. They jump in and on. The, the demonic entities, like the ones I talk about here, the ones I've encountered here and gone into detail a little bit about, are not the same people as the elite uh, energy vampires. The energy vampires, the big guys taking all the, the louche at the top, are not uh, the same thing as the, the demonic minions, the demonic entities. And the people... Or, or, I don't mean if you call them people, that are, are getting all that energy at the top of the pyramid. Um, skateboarding. Their whole deal. Well, I'm just going to move out of here. I figured I was okay here because the store is closed, but I'm everywhere going to make it exciting. The, um, ah, fuck. I was going to wrap that up nice too before I went to the store. I'll get back. Where's it going? Uh, but, but, oh yeah, the people that are, are collecting this, this energy used to be uh, the staff of this place uh, working in the school uh, to help uh, teach uh, the, the progeny of God Father Yah that's us and not us as individuals and, and I know that's a hard part to, to get to but we're actually split up in all these different bodies. Those that have divinity, anyway. Some of these bodies are just assets that are here. Uh, that have always been here to help facilitate some of these tests that they used to do. Now they're used for different things. Now they just used to aggravate and uh, work as uh, stumbling blocks to create more frustration, anger, more negative energy. But, uh, yeah, they turned this whole thing around from a school into an energy farm. And as long as they're sucking that energy, they enrich themselves as gods here in this material realm. I've gone over that before in a bit more detail, so as far as I'm concerned, that's settled science. But uh, I'll get into it again. Right now I'm going to go wander around in, into... Uh, let me see, let me show you. I go here every day too, it's kind of funny. 
what's the uh, what's the address up here? Address right there, at the top of the top of the store. Uh, three thirty-three. Yes, indeed. Don't blame the teacher or blame the school.